In this video, you will discover three deceptions that will cause many Christians to lose their eternal life, and you'll learn how you can avoid them. Hi, this is Dustin with Hope Through Prophecy. On this channel, our motto is, if it's in the Bible, we want it. If it's not in the Bible, it's not for us. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you are notified of our videos. Before we expose these three deadly last day deceptions, I want to let you know about our new and improved Patreon page. We have just started a Bible reading plan, and each day I post a commentary on that day's passages. Please consider becoming a Patreon where you will have full access to these daily videos and all of my behind the scenes content for as little as $3 per month. This helps support this channel as we share the gospel with the world. The Patreon link is up above and in the description of this video. Now let's uncover these three last day deceptions. Number one, false miracles. Usually when we think of the word miracles, we think of God and his marvelous works. However, the Bible is clear that in the last days, the devil himself will work false counterfeit miracles to deceive the world. And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. Yes, the devil and his army of evil angels will deceive the world with miracles and preparation for the final showdown between Christ and Satan. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth into the kings of the earth and of the whole world, to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. And what will these miracles look like? Friend, they will come in many forms. For example, the devil uses spiritualism, the false teaching that the dead continue to live on after they die. This belief, even promoted by many churches, goes against the Bible and leaves people open to the deceptions of evil spirits who impersonate our dead loved ones. For more information about what happens when we die according to the Bible, watch this video, Facts About Death. It should be no surprise that even sincere Christians, the elect of God, are being deceived by these miracles. The Bible reveals, for false Christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. These satanic signs will deceive not only Christians, but the entire world. People will be dazzled by shocking signs in the heavens. He performs great signs, so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast. So, how do we avoid these deceptions? Friends, the solution is simple. We must be grounded in the Word of God, the Bible. When we know the truth, we can identify the counterfeit. There are many churches today that are putting their trust in feelings, emotions, and experience above the Word of God. Their worship services are designed to create emotional highs, but they are lacking in true, solid Bible doctrine. When we hear of a miracle, we must remember two things. Number one, not all miracles are from God. Number two, if the miracle conflicts with Scripture in any way, we must reject it. The Bible reveals, to the law and to the testimony, if they do not speak according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. In other words, if it's in the Bible, we want it. If it's not in the Bible, it's not for us. Here on Hope Through Prophecy, we have some very practical, effective ways for you to get more knowledgeable in the Bible. Number one, you can enroll in a free Bible study course by emailing us at bible at hopethroughprophecy.org. Number two, become a Patreon and join our daily Bible reading plan where I post a commentary on each day's passage. Number three, continue to watch Hope Through Prophecy videos to learn more about the Bible and be prepared for these last days. The second end time deception to avoid is number two, twisted scripture. While it is true that we must test everything by the Bible, the Bible predicts that scripture will be twisted in the last days, leading to great deception. 
For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers, and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. Unfortunately, we can see this from the pulpit of many churches today. False doctrines such as the sacredness of Sunday instead of the seventh-day Sabbath of the Fourth Commandments, and the belief that Jesus will return secretly, leaving many people alive on the earth. These teachings are leading sincere Christians away from the truth and preparing them to be lost. For the Bible truth on these two topics, just watch, should Christians keep the Sabbath today, and ten things that will happen when Jesus returns. We should not be surprised that these false teachers are widespread in the world today. The Bible predicted it. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. In fact, the devil has been twisting scripture for thousands of years. In the wilderness, he tried to use scripture to deceive Jesus. So how can we avoid this delusion? Once again, we must know our Bibles. Friends, I cannot emphasize it enough. Be involved in a solid Bible study program, such as the options I have provided in the description of this video. If you cannot read, listen to the Bible on audio. We have so many options available to us today. And friends, I need to say something about pastors. We must test them by the Bible. We cannot afford to blindly trust any pastor or religious leader. There are so many of them that are teaching error. Yes, many pastors are godly men, but they must be tested by Scripture. Consider this example from the book of Acts. Here the Apostle Paul is preaching to the Bereans. Consider how the Bible describes these Berean people. These were more fair-minded than those in Thessalonica, and that they received the word with all readiness, and searched the Scriptures daily to find out whether these things were so. You will notice that the Bereans tested everything that Paul said by the Bible. Friends, we must be the same way. We must be like the Bereans and like Jesus, letting the Bible be the standard for all our beliefs and practices. And that is our commitment here on Hope Through Prophecy, to allow the Bible, the inspired Word of God, not the teachings of men, to be the authority for all of our videos. The third deadly end time deception that you must avoid is number three, worldly unions. There are several specific worldly unions that are trapping Christians. Many will be eternally lost because of these ties to this world. God has placed us in this world to influence others and bring them to Jesus, not be corrupted by worldly influence. What do I mean by the world? Anything that would draw us away from God. The Bible tells us, Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away in the lust of it but he who does the will of God abides forever. What are some examples of these worldly unions? Friends, I want to be very specific. Things such as Hollywood movies and worldly books or TV shows, video games or entertainment with violent, sexual, or occult content, the love of pleasure, and spending excessive time and money on cars or houses are some examples. All of these draw our hearts and minds away from God and heavenly things. The Bible tells us, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. How do we know which activities are acceptable and which are not? The Bible gives us this clear standard. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. If something does not pass this test, we must avoid it. There are so many wonderful activities that can draw us closer to God. Spending time in nature by gardening, or walking outside, reading the Bible and other Christian literature, watching Christian media, 
visiting zoos, museums, and other attractions, spending quality time with loved ones and family, and much more. God desires us to have a healthy, fulfilling life that glorifies Him and prepares us for heaven. And friends, I need to mention one more worldly union that is entrapping many Christians, an overemphasis on politics. While it is true that we should take a stand for certain issues like religious freedom and health and wellness, we should not become overly entangled in political matters. Politics can be divisive and can draw us away from Christ. While it is okay to stay informed and have a position, we should not be consumed with political matters, as I see is the case with many Christians today. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight, so that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from here. Dear friends, we are fast approaching the soon return of Jesus. The devil will try every method possible to deceive and distract us from entering into the heavenly kingdom that God has prepared for us. If you would like to make a decision to avoid these three end time deceptions and take your stand on the Lord's side, just write in the comment section below, Lord, I will stand for you. Amen. If you would like others to be aware of these three deceptions, please like and share this video so it can spread far and wide. If you are new, please make sure you are subscribed with bell notifications turned on. And please consider becoming a Patreon to support this channel and have full access to my daily videos and behind the scenes content. But most importantly, friends, keep your eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith.